Hey, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. Today's video, I'm going to go over Cartesian coordinates, xy variables, how a z variable would work, kind of the basics you need to know for CNC programming and operating CNC equipment. So this is all about Cartesian coordinates. It's a math idea with the foundation for CNC. All right, let me put the camera over my shoulder and we'll get started. Measure the height. Measure the width from Laminated overnight on a CNC cut jig. Okay, so let's get started with Cartesian coordinates. Um, Cartesian coordinates were invented by this guy named Rene Descartes. That's why it's called Cartesian. So it's Cartesian coordinates named after him. I think it must have been about 1600 he did that. So the foundation of all of it is that it's a graph or a set of axes and you can figure out wherever you are in space by the numbers on the axes. So the vertical axis is always Y, the horizontal axis is always X, and whatever object you wanna create would have a Cartesian coordinate, otherwise known as an ordered pair. Um, the first value is always X, the second value is always Y, just like in the alphabet. So this coordinate right here in the lower right-hand corner of this rectangle, is eight because I go over eight units and then I go up one, two units. So it's over eight, up two. This coordinate right here is over the same amount, eight. However, now it's up nine. This coordinate right here in the lower left corner will always be X first. So this would be one over and then one, two up. So this would be the coordinate one, two. And then this coordinate right here would be one over nine up. And that's kind of how a CNC router reads apart. There's a di bunch of different ways, but it could travel as a vector from this coordinate to this coordinate, and then from this coordinate to this coordinate. Um, so that's the overview. Let me go over into a few other parts of Cartesian coordinates as well. This is all positive space. A lot of times you set your zero or your origin at zero, zero, and you only work in positive space. But a lot of times you set your origin in the middle of the part. So that gives you the same X, Y axis. The difference now is you have it split into four quadrants. This would be quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four based on the idea that you're in trigonometry rotating counterclockwise this way. This right here is always going to be positive, positive space, a rectangle in here or any shape you want in here. So let's figure out these coordinates with positive and negatives. Let's say I went over here, one, two, three, four, five units, and I'm over this way, one, two, negative three units. So going left to right is positive, right to left negative. Then in the y direction, let's say I go up one, two, three, four units, going up would be positive, and then going down one, two, negative three. So this coordinate now is still positive, positive. I go over five, up four. So this coordinate is five, four. This coordinate right here, now I go over negative three. So my X is always first, negative three, and then I go up four. This coordinate right here, negative three in the X direction, and then negative three coming down in the Y direction. And then this coordinate right here, X first would be five over, and then negative three down. So that's how you work in negative space. A lot of times, uh, when you're setting parts on the CNC, you do do that. The other thing too is in when you're making things, you're very rarely ever flat. It's more like a 3D object. So it's more like a rectangular block like this. And then now you need to put depth into your drawing as well. The way you put depth into that drawing is you add a new axis. And that new axis is your Z coordinate. So again, horizontal is X. Vertical is Y, and now I'm coming out. I'm really coming straight up here. So I draw it flat, but it's a Z axis, and it's coming straight up. And then the way I draw this in two-dimensional plane like this 
is, let's say now I have the coordinate two, three, four. Before that coordinate was x, y, and it's still the same. I'm just adding a third axis, th three dimensions, so this is z. And they're always in that same order, x, y, z, just like they are in the alphabet. So to draw that coordinate on a flat plane, even though it's a point in space up here, you can't even see with the camera, but I'm floating up above my page. I go two units in X, I go three units in Y, and then I go four units in Z. So I'm over two, up three, that puts me here. And then I come up, I'm trying to, yeah, I come up four. And the way I show that is I could draw it and the best way to draw it is to draw a box. When you draw that box, if this is one side of my box of three units, it's going to be that same side right here of the same length. This is coming out four, so that's the same length as four. Uh, this is the back of the box, two. This one's going to come out two there, so this will be two parallel there, and like that. And then that two up. Let's see, this is going to be three over, two up, and then back that way. So that space right there is over two, up three, and then out four. So that's an XYZ coordinate system. A coordinate or ordered pair um, goes from two dimensions. Actually, you start in two dimension positive space. Once you got that down in positive space, then you go to four quadrants, where this will be positive, positive. Second quadrant would be negative, positive. Third quadrant, negative, negative. Fourth quadrant, positive, negative. And then now that you're working in four quadrants in two-dimensional space, then you move on to three-dimensional space. They're all pretty big ideas. Um, when you run a tool, on a CNC router, that's what you're doing. Either you're using absolute coordinates, travel from 234 to 235, or you're using vectors where you give it a, a magnitude and direction to travel. So hopefully that helped a little bit with the introduction to Cartesian coordinates and how, and how they work in a CNC space. If you like that video, hit like. I'd like to hear your comments below. Um, and thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. This channel is all applications of math.